I'm Michael Rogers, the project architect for Pavilions on the Park, development of 195 apartments for Australand in St Leonard's on Sydney's lower north shore. After I describe the project and context, I'll focus on two aspects of the design that this image illustrates. Firstly, the way the broken up form was derived to minimise impact for such a large development, and secondly, the integration of landscape. The site is narrow, running north-south between the North Shore Rail Line on the right and Newlands Park on the left. Straight away you can see that addressing the western sun and a suburban context of individual houses are going to be the big issue. The site is at the tail end of a green corridor running all the way from the harbour foreshore. Integrating that green corridor became a key influence on the design. The project is in four buildings. A and B were built in the first stage and C and D on the right are in the second stage, completed last year. There are six clear pedestrian friendly entries to six cores and one single car park entry. This is the aerial view today. There were 16 houses here who interestingly banded together and sold to a developer and the site eventually had its own SEP written for it. The long elevations are something that people never really see. The west is highly articulated with balconies and sun shading facing the park. The east is more of a chunky aesthetic designed to be viewed at high speed from the rail. Thick glass and thorough ceiling deals with rail noise. Amazingly, when the windows are close you can barely hear it. The scheme uses the slope of the site to hide car parking at the rear so that residences can be at ground level facing the street. This is one of the ground level terraces facing the street. So looking at how the form was derived, the lower portions are at the front and higher portions at the rear to reduce perceived scale at the street. Each building has been given its own language and look, but all retain some traits. This breaks down the scale of the development whilst providing unity. The southern end of the site is different again from the other buildings. But to get the best result, we had to disobey the rules. This is the planning control envelope showing the highest part of the building forming a wall along the street frontage. And a first complying DA was rejected by council and the Land and Environment Court due to bulk, even though it complied. But the current design breaks that mould with numerous SEP1 objections. The client reduced the number of apartments and we pushed the main mass to the rear of the site, reducing the perceived height. This is the final form, and the strong articulation reduces the bulk. The added bonus is that morning shading to the park is much reduced. Looking at the form of one particular building, you can see at the ground level is very easy access, and the lower front portions turn to address the curve in the street. As we go up the building, there is little repetition, which the client appreciated as it offered a variety of product to the market. Minimal common circulation makes for very efficient floor plates. As we get higher, the front portions drop away. The twin cores allow cross ventilation for the middle apartments. The western sun is controlled with large overhangs and a variety of different external shading devices adding complexity to the facades. Most apartments face the park or a dual aspect with good views across the park and the local area. So with the breakup of the buildings and the way the landscape works, as you walk along the footpath, you rarely get a sense of the whole development, rather a sequence of smaller views. Lastly, the integration of landscape. Native hardy planting and materials draw on the local area. Sandstone curbs and walls between buildings relate to the local rocky cliffs. Angophras will grow over lower native grasses to leave an open mid-storey maintaining outlook for the lower apartments. The frontage is a lowered gully of sorts, helping to provide a sense of separation from public areas. Entry paths bridge over this gully and ground floor balconies project over it. The trees flow up from the park, through and in between the buildings, as an extension of that green corridor by linking the park to trees in the railway and enhancing the natural habitat. And so we've managed to greatly reduce the impact of what is really a big development on a small scale context and we've provided excellent amenity and a great place to live. Thank you.